also the umbrella, a large umbrella organisation for the Second Australian Imperial Force in the First Australian Corps. And we've just seen going through the screen the, the headquarters and then the uh, Commando Association. We'll be coming back in a moment with some of the other units uh, of the First Australian Corps, which served initially in the Middle East in, during World War II. Thanks. Thanks. Yes, indeed, indeed. That's uh, that's, that's wonderful. I'd like to see that because we do think we do think. I commemorate the 94th anniversary of the Gallipoli landings in 1950. The number of it. and glory. We we'll remember those who have gone before us, who have stood by us and helped us, who have comforted us by their sympathy and strengthened us. This year I've met several, but I wish to focus on one who, whilst truly special, is, I believe... Anzac Day means a lot to me. It's uh, something, and uh, my dad was a soldier for many years, and uh, I used to march with him and hold his hand as we marched down George Street in Sydney. And my aim was to join the RSL, and uh, so I could march. And this I did. I joined the army. Japan and Italy. They're followed by World War II Army um, members of the Australian Imperial Force and the Australian the Bung Tau Ferry. Yes, that's right. The ship that took uh, troops and supplies to and from Vietnam. Uh, and they also represent uh, other... Two granddaughters of Alex Campbell, the last Anzac to pass away in Australia, in Tasmania. And I had the privilege and the honour of providing the commentary for ABC television for his funeral from St David's Cathedral in Hobart. 